in South Bend, the campus of the University of Notre Dame, the Big East regular season finale, an emotional day. The Panthers of Pittsburgh and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame as we welcome you aboard Dick Enberg along with Clark Kellogg. The winner knows they will get a bye in the upcoming Big East tournament. That's important. But the real plum here is you impress the NCAA selection committee and assure yourself a ticket to the big dance. Well, we're privileged to be able to see the final home game of number one, and he's been that number one, Chris Thomas of Notre Dame. What a terrific collegiate career he's had. He's been in every game starter. It'll be 126 straight starts today for him, a school record. And you look at his numbers, a really special performer. He's the guy that makes Notre Dame go. This year, his scoring is down as he's tried to serve up other people, but he's still the guy that can take and make the big shot and the big play for Notre Dame. As he goes, so go the Irish. He's very, very good at getting his own shot and finishing in the paint. For Pittsburgh, a 1-2 inside-outside punch. Siobhan Trumpman and Carl Krauser. I love <laughs> to say that name. They are tough. They really are tough. When you talk about Siobhan Troutman, he's a wide body inside, Dick. He's not a guy who's going to elevate over people. He's going to use that 250 pounds, the good footwork and the strong hands to go through people, but he's also shown an improved outside shot. Carl Krauser, I don't know if there's any point guard you would rather have than him. Tough, smart, and always ready to make the big play and the big shot. Pittsburgh beat Notre Dame at Pittsburgh by two, and it was Krauser who made the winning shot in the final seconds. The lineups coming up. CBS Sports College Basketball Coverage is sponsored by Chevy and American Revolution, supercharged for 2005. The new Singular, Raising the Bar. And by Bud Light, fresh, smooth, real, it's all here. At 7.42 a.m., critical samples arrived at this pharmaceutical lab. At 9.34 a.m., a trade proposal arrived at the National Congress in Brazil. At 10.27 a.m., a birthday present arrived, as promised. Who made all of these things happen? The company that delivers more packages on time than anyone. UPS. What can Brown do for you? My job is to recruit the most talented folks for Children's Hospital. I am hiring anywhere from food service worker, groundskeeper, radiology techs, social workers, nurses, of course. You can find our jobs on Monster. We're always hiring. Introducing the first stop smoking gum that actually tastes like gum. New Nicorette Fresh Mint. It's coated and it's softer with a totally fresh new taste, which means you might actually use it, which means this time it could help you quit. New Nicorette Fresh Mint. Chevy Colorado Z71 with an available 220 horsepower engine. You're it. Don't let all that power go to your head. Chevy Colorado, an American revolution. Senior day in South Bend, and they've just concluded the ceremonies. There's Chris Thomas, number one. He's the third scorer in Notre Dame history. Number one assist, number one in steals. He could be number one in three-pointers made, and he wears appropriately number one. Now a look at the Big East standings as we conclude the regular season. BC and Connecticut still uh, to determine who wins the regular season title, but Pittsburgh and Notre Dame both at nine and six, and both records impressive enough that one would think they're in the NCAA tournament, but a win today would uh, certainly be a security measure for either one. State Farm covers the court, and here are today's lineups. Jamie Dixon in his second year, looking for his 20th win of this season, and he's got that big shot block Chris Taft, 6'10", sophomore in the middle. And Mike Bray in his fifth season, he's averaged 20 wins a year since coming here to Notre Dame. And Chris Quinn was questionable, injured an ankle against Rutgers, but he says he's ready to go and is in the starting lineup. Burr, Greenwood, and Bush with the whistles. We're set to go before a sellout crowd of 11,000 plus here at the Joyce Center. Notre Dame in white, Pittsburgh in blue, and Taft. 
tips it back out of bounds and Notre Dame will get the first chance. They played to a thriller in Pittsburgh 68 66 earlier in the season. Notre Dame had great difficulty scoring inside but uh, made a season high 14 three pointers outside. This is Thomas Quinn and around the perimeter they go inside and there's Taft leaping in front of Francis to bat it out of bounds. But I think early on Notre Dame will try to establish some sort of inside game that's been their Achilles heel. The perimeter guys have been terrific Falls Quinn and Thomas but they need a little more from Francis and Cornett had only one field goal against Pittsburgh in that earlier game and Francis unable to hit the short jumper and here come the Panthers the long pass to Troutman and he is fouled by Quinn. Dick he may be the fastest 255 pound player in all of college basketball. This guy Chevy Troutman can fly from one end to the other. He's 6'7", 255. Many feel if he can't make it in professional basketball that he would be a good free agent pick as a tight end in the NFL. He played one year of high school ball as a defensive end and tight end. Here are the top forwards in the Big East. Um, you like Siobhan Troutman. I really do. He's had a terrific year. Was not picked on any of the preseason all-conference teams and will sure, certainly make one of them. Should be a first-teamer in my mind. Hakeem Warwick has been terrific all year long. Charlie Villanueva from UConn has really ramped and amped up his game in conference play. Ball to has a beautiful stroke from outside. They feel he'll be one of the great three point shooters before he leaves Notre Dame. To Cornette, to Quinn, and back to Thomas, who runs the show. He has it batted away. Taft then the long pass ahead. Francis gets a hand on it, but Troughton recovers for Pittsburgh. And finally, in the hands of Carl Krauser, point guard for Pittsburgh. Carroll has it deflected by Falls, Troutman along the baseline. Back into Troutman, and he can't handle it. Out of bounds to Notre Dame. Siobhan Troutman does a nice job of spreading out. There you see him trying to get around Cornette. A good job defensively there by Cornette, simply to move his feet and hold his ground. Long pass to the side, and Cornette cannot hit the jumper from beyond the arc. Here comes Krause, the junior. The feet inside, and a quick whistle as reaching in was uh, Torin Francis, his first. Such a highly competitive uh, season, hasn't it been? Oh, big it's been terrific. so many good teams. Yeah, I think top, middle, and bottom, it's the best conference in the country. The ACC has a couple more premier teams, but no conference can match the depth that the Big East offers. That Krauser runner was much like the one that he made to win the game at Pittsburgh 68-66. Notre Dame looking for its first points, and Thomas well off the mark. Dick, you and I were talking. One of the toughest things to do as a senior on senior day is to handle the emotion. Oh my, Chris Taft with an offensive rebound throwdown. But one of the most difficult things to handle is the emotion of a senior day and then trying to get it focused and redirected towards putting your best effort forward on the court. And through the years, we've seen that happen over and over. Here's uh, Notre Dame after all the emotion. Then you come down, try to regain it, whistle away from the ball. And uh, the Irish unable to score in the first two and a half minutes. Foul is on Taft, his first. Penetration by Graves, and then the fortuitous bounce, and Taft in the right place at the right time, and finished it with authority. Here's Falls. Thought he was fouled on the three point attempt. Antonio Graves brings it the other way. Krauser. Inside to Taft, good position. off the hands of the Irish in Pittsburgh here with the 250 gone leading four nothing and after a conference of the officials they say it's Notre Dame's ball 
The Irish coming into the offensive end are 0 for 4 shooting. That's when it helps Dick to be able to throw the ball inside to somebody that can get you a basket or draw a foul. You need to try to get something easy. There you go. Francis to Cornett. The two big men were a give and go there, and it's 4 2. The Irish score after three minutes. Krauser called for traveling. Krauser was looking for a foul call and he didn't get it and walked right into a turnover. Taryn Francis fills the double team. Cornett makes himself available at the rim and they've got two points. And then Krauser is self check here. He denied himself an opportunity on that throwdown. I'm sorry, Siobhan Troutman denied himself on that throwdown attempt. Thomas with a fake draws the foul. Two Notre Dame substitutions. Rick Cornett, number 11. And number 41, Dennis Lattimore. Two big men in for Mike Bray. Foul was on Graves of Pittsburgh is first. Here is Chris Thomas averaging just under 14 a game this year. Number three score of all time for the Irish. What's the book on him? Well, we'll take a look. He's a thermostat. He regulates things. He doesn't just register them. And then he room service dimes other folks how much and when. Refers to the fact that he has to pick and choose when he's going to look for his own offense versus setting up other people. And he's done a nice job of that this year. Has his first points, a seven point run by Notre Dame. has his pass deflected by Thomas out of bounds and with that a timeout four minutes 16 seconds into this game at Notre Dame and the Irish lead by three Ever since I won all that money on Jeopardy. What is stinking rich? I've had a lot of relatives coming out of the woodwork. Ken Jennings. <laughs> Kurt Jennings. I'm your aunt's sister twice removed from your cousin's ex-wife, second husband. Great uncles, third cousin. Cousins, cousins, cousins. Stepfather's son through common law marriage. You're my cousin on, on which side? Exactly. I'm going to need a good family plan. Their family talk plan lets you talk to 48 million people for free. Who is singular? That's right, Ken. And now you can add a line for just $9.99. The new Singular, raising the bar. This Friday, discover the secret Let's go! of the year's first pitch-perfect thriller. More electrifying than Die Hard. I'm reassuming command. Yes, die! Bruce Willis has never been better. Let him go! Hostage, rated R, in theaters Friday. Men don't like to shave. They'd rather light their shorts on fire or eat dirt. Easy, fellas. Nivea soothes the pain of shaving. With moisturizers and vitamins, Nivea for Men Aftershave Balm soothes and improves. Nivea for Men. More evolved skin care. See you tonight. Love you. Love you too. Oh, okay, that's my foot. I'd say from Agent LaDonna Young Hansen, this is a true story. We didn't know what kind of claim it was, because was it going to be an auto claim or a homeowner's claim? Since we take care of all their insurance needs, it was easy to figure out. And she handled all the paperwork. In minutes. She made the process totally painless. Well, not totally. I mean, my foot. Okay. Nobody takes care of you like State Farm. Trust us with all your insurance needs, and we'll save you some money too. Call an agent today. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. CBS Sunday, the betrayal between two detectives will finally explode. Well, you want to drop this thing? You lied to my face. A new cold case, CBS Sunday. Austin Carr is one of the most prolific scorers in NCAA history, and he holds the record for scoring in the NCAA tournament. In 1971, the Notre Dame star scored 38.1 points per game. Who is the only other Naismith Award winner to score more points in a season? Now play Naismith's trivia for a shot at a million dollars. Text the word PLAY to 26222 on your wireless phone. You'll get 20 questions for 20 chances to win a trip to the 2005 NCAA Men's Final Four and a shot at a million. 
Well, let's take a look at some of my POI candidates. No prolific score of the category or likes of Austin Carr, but clearly some outstanding players. And I think Andrew Bogan, if I had to make a vote today, he would be my choice as player of the year. Wayne Simeon has had a strong year, Ward. But I think Andrew Bogut, with his dominance inside and the way he's elevated his team, is worthy of being the player of the year in college basketball. Troutman from outside, and his coach Jamie Dixon has wanted him to shoot more. And a push off, and it'll go against Pittsburgh's Graves. His second. Well, you can see on that play, Chris Quinn was a questionable game time decision due to spraining his left ankle a couple of days ago in the game against Rutgers. And for a right-handed player, Dick, that's your push-off foot. And you can see there he wasn't quite able to elevate, but was bailed out by the over-the-back foul, the bump from Antonio Graves. Ronald Ramon, a freshman from the Bronx, New York, number four, has replaced Graves. Irish trying to build on that seven-point run inside to Rick Cornett. Good power move. Nine consecutive points for the Irish. First points for Rick Cornett, the junior from Country Club Hills, Illinois. Taft inside against Cornett. Good spinning move. Can't hit it. Cornett rips down the rebound. Thomas and the Irish on the attack. Thomas for three. Kept alive by Lattimore, but Cornett can't handle it. Near the end of today's game, we'll select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team to honor their determination and outstanding play. Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. Chevy and American Revolution. Chris Tapp quickly to the other end to score. That ends the nine straight points for the Irish. And on the run, the Panthers, it's Krauser. Boy, they get down the court. If you think this is a team that's just slow and deliberate offensively, they're showing you that they can play both styles. And they've actually scored the bulk of their points here in the early going by pushing the ball ahead quickly. No whistle. And it's Pittsburgh now. They've answered that nine-point run with four straight and now can take the lead if successful on this trip. Krauser, what a feed to Taft. Six in a row for Pittsburgh, and they're back in front, 10 to 9. Chris Tapp leading all scores with six for the Panthers. Falls. He just doesn't take him long to set up and fire. And he has another three. Six points for Falls to lead the Irish. And he's got what I call a staple gun release. <laughs> Catch it and let it go. When it hits the bottom of the well, it's like sticking that staple. Yes, sir. Browser into Kraft. Oh, he is showing some quick moves and has eight in the game and ties it at 12. He's been a bit inconsistent, but when he comes with focus and tenacity, Chris Taft is really a handful inside. Way outside is Quinn. It's tap clearing. Ramon back outside. In first look at John DeGroat wearing zero. Had a big game against BC. In the victory earlier this week, he'd gone 10 games scoring one point. And then he had 10 points against uh, Boston College. Travels there. In comes Omari Israel and uh, also Cornette, Jordan Cornette, as Quinn and Lattimore take a seat. Well, you can see that Chris Quinn has not been nearly as effective with that sprained ankle. He's sitting down now for Notre Dame. Just could not move as well as he would like to at either end of the floor. Inside to Francis. And he scores over Aaron Gray, the seven foot sophomore who has entered for Pittsburgh. First points for Francis. Well, I like the way Notre Dame is attacking inside. They don't have one of their better perimeter players at 100% strength than Chris Quinn. So those big guys really need to get it done inside today. Raymond, the 19 year old freshman, has his first points of three. Pittsburgh up by one. Ramon had 13 points, including a four-point play in the win at Pittsburgh 
And the second unit for Pittsburgh, Dick, was really instrumental in the game-changing run in that two-point win for Pittsburgh against Notre Dame a few weeks ago. Panthers have made their last five shots. Raymond trying to make it six in a row. And it's Thomas who's rebounding. And he has uh, five, almost five rebounds a game this year. Falls, hits again. Three trays for Falls, the sophomore from Park Ridge, Illinois. Well, they're trading leads here. Back and forth we go. 11 minutes and change left in the opening half. And it's Notre Dame by two. Gray is a big young man, isn't he? He's yes, he seven is. Seven feet and was up to 300 pounds a year ago. Lost 25 pounds. Here he is. Into Troutman. And Troutman draws the foul. It was Cornette. Jordan Cornette reaching in. And with that, we'll take a break. 10.48 left in this opening half. For the Irish, it's been the threes. Falling. in the Chevy family. The Cobalt Coupe, Sedan, and SS Supercharged. Chevy Cobalt, an American Revolution. We got gas too, man. Chips. Three dollars. Frozen beverage, two dollars. Gas, thirty-one dollars. Starting a new life together, priceless. Rekindling a fire that never went out. Satisfying a much needed slushy fix? Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For gas stations, there's MasterCard. New from Tolco, it's the suck up. He never sweats because he doesn't take risks at work. Hey, uh, suck up, knock knock. <laughs> Good one, sir. That's not the joke, suck up. All right. <laughs> The Sucka comes with detachable puckered lips and realistic head nodding action. Also available, the wuss and mama's boy. Some men never take risks. For men who do take risks, there's new degree for men. With twice the protection you need, it won't let you down. No matter what the sport, anytime athletes sweat, they lose more than just water. Gatorade puts back the sodium, potassium, and carbs all athletes need to perform at their best. Water does not. The countdown to your all-time favorite episode of Everybody Loves Raymond continues. What did you, the viewer, pick as your fourth most popular choice? Find out CBS Monday. Well, next Sunday, the big day for all basketball fans. Sunday at 6 o'clock Eastern time, like opening the presents, looking in the stocking on the <laughs> holidays. Who's going to get the present? Uh, an invitation to the NCAA dance. And you take a look at the Big, big East Conference, Dick, and clearly you've got five teams solidly in the NCAA tournament. You could draw a line right here and know those five are pretty much in. West Virginia had a loss today against Seton Hall on the road despite playing extremely well of late. And I think their non-conference wins at LSU, at North Carolina State, a win against George Washington still puts them in good shape, but I think they might have a little work to do, as does Georgetown, who's in the midst of a four-game losing streak right now. But they, too, have had a couple of nice non-conference wins. This is uh, Siobhan Troutman now on the free throw. He's hitting 71% on the season as a... Freshman, he was well under 50%, but has improved with each year. The guy from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. He's 6'7, but his wingspan mm -hmm. is 7'2. Yeah. That's why he plays so tough inside. Gets one out of two, and Notre Dame's lead is carved to one. In comes Levon Kendall, the sophomore, 6'9 from Vancouver, British Columbia. As Troutman gets a breather. Panthers 
interesting number there, a very impressive number, as the Irish have assisted on all six of their made field goals. Typically, a good ratio is assisting on two thirds of your mates. They're at 100 percent right now. Omari well, Israel getting more and more playing time, and he draws the foul inside. This young guy's got a terrific body, and he's been working on it. And uh, Mike Bray likes his potential. Mark McCarroll with a foul, his first. Israel, 6'9", from Rockville, Maryland, has only 24 points all season. Get complete college basketball coverage at CBS Sports Line and a reminder fantasy baseball is now available for everyone from beginners to experts. Click on fantasy baseball at cbsportsline.com. Israel misses both free throw attempts. Here are the Panthers down by one. Well, nice job that time by Terrence Francis to step out and help on the screen and then get back inside. Kendall misses his first attempt from three point range. And Thomas another rebound at 6-1. Inside to Francis. Hits the underside of the board. A whistle. And apparently it'll go against Aaron Gray. His first. A nice job here by Terrence Francis to get immediate post-up position. And the good footwork allows him to get underneath Aaron Gray and draw the foul. Francis. Junior from the Boston area. Averaging uh, two out of three from the line this year. Here's the textbook guy. Well, he's got great power in the paint. We just saw that. He needs to get busy quicker. He's mechanical in terms of making his moves, and then he does a great job, I think, of pursuing every ball. He's a guy that will get some rebounds out of his zip code, I like to say. A lot of guys can get balls that are in their neighborhood, but your terrific rebounders go outside of their area code to get boards. Hits both free throws, four in the game for Francis, and the Irish now up by three. We've reached the midpoint of this first 20 minute period at Notre Dame. The Panthers of Pittsburgh, the Irish of Notre Dame, final Big East regular season encounter. Browser trying to tie it up from long range. And look at the tip up high is uh, McCarroll for his first points. 19 18 Notre Dame. Thomas, and that'll be a turnover. This has been a problem area all year long for Notre Dame, the inability to take care of business on their defensive glass. And there you see McCarroll from above the board. You're able to see him get there with no intrusion at all. There's McCarroll at 6'10", runs the floor so very well, and you show that his delicate touch inside. Kendall has it knocked away by Israel, and the scramble, it goes off the Irish youngster. Fans give him a hand for effort. Ronald Ramon getting a lot of playing time here in the opening half with the early two fouls on Antonio Graves. Seven on the shot clock. Krauser knows it. Has it deflected. Cornette knocked it out of bounds. Four seconds on the shot clock. And in comes John DeGroat. And he replaces. Levon Kendall. And time called by Krauser. Had trouble getting the ball inbounds. 8.58 left in this first half. I love the tender crisp bacon cheddar ranch. The breast they grow on trees. And streams of bacon ranch dressing flow right up to your knees. There's tumbleweeds of bacon and cheddar paves the streets. You get the veg all day, all the lotto tickets pay. There's a king who wants you to have it your way. That's the tender crisp bacon cheddar ranch. The tender crisp bacon cheddar ranch. Come and get it. You take a look at the profile for the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame looking to try to get to 10 wins here in conference play strength of schedule but the record against the top 50 key wins um, some excellent wins they've also had a tough stretch in terms of conference play as Taft makes a tough move inside against the Fighting Irish front court players 10 points for Taft his average is 13 and Pittsburgh back in front by one. 
The Irish with five of their losses by five points or less. I don't know if that makes any difference to the selection committee. Francis has to go off his own leg out of bounds to Pittsburgh. Well, I think how you win and how you lose, especially as you move through the month of February, is part of the look test that the selection committee will take teams through. It's not just what you look like on paper. I mean, this isn't a video game tournament. It's a tournament of how you look, what are you doing now, and clearly when you look at Notre Dame, they've shown that they are tournament worthy, although I think they all feel like, the team and coaches feel like there's additional work to do to solidify their place in the at-large field. Browser fouled before the shot. And how about this stretch of games they had to play, Dick, the Fighting Irish? And they came out of there pretty good, three and four in that stretch. I think that will carry some significant weight with the committee. And the freshman Ramon hits again. And Pittsburgh leads by three. Five points for Ramon off the bench. Last foul was on Thomas. Pittsburgh with five team fouls. Notre Dame with four. Israel, too many hops. And the turnover to Pittsburgh. Fourth Irish turnover. Chris Quinn returns for Notre Dame. And Troutman for Pittsburgh. Well, the Panthers started one for seven. They were cold, but not since. Eight for 11. Well, they've gotten high quality shots. Taft has been a real force inside. They've been able to get a couple of buckets in transition, catching Notre Dame slow and getting back. Very physical team. They set solid screens and they really try to punish you inside. Here's Taft trying to add to that 10 points. And he gets two more. Just one under his season average. 12, a dozen for Taft. Well, when you let him turn to that left shoulder, Dick, that's what he wants to do. That's his favorite little shot in there. He's been able to get the position he wants and get right into it. Upton falls, so Notre Dame not getting the outside scoring fight. But there's Francis to bank it in, and he has six. I really think it's important for Notre Dame to continue to probe inside. Try to keep some pressure on Taft to defend, and then hopefully you're able to play inside out and get the three-point shooting that you expect from Thomas, Quinn, and Falls. the block by Francis and Thomas doesn't have the advantage pulls up takes the three he has not hit a field goal is two points on free throws but falls shows you that sweet touch he has four trays and that one ties it at 24 they're on their feet at the Joyce Center Notre Dame hey Angie you going to the post office Hey, Ted, you're going to the post office. Do I know you? Anyone go to the post office? Jeff. Ronnie. Connie. <laughs> Isn't anyone going to the post office? Hey, Chuck. Can't go to the post office? Go to USPS.com. From buying stamps to shipping packages, almost anything you do at the post office, you can do at USPS.com. It's how the U.S. Postal Service is working for you. Hey, Steve. Lunch? All tied up here at the Joint Center. I just talked about how Chris Taft wants to turn to his left shoulder. Well, this time he tries to go to his right shoulder, doesn't get the lift, puts the ball right in the face of Tarin Francis, who denies it. And then Thomas, in transition, takes a good look at the three. The ball kept alive by Cornette. And Colin Falls, splash. Yeah, Coach Mike Gray feels that Colin Falls, before he's through here, you'll talk about him the way you do J.J. Redick or Jerry McNamara as a potent outside shooter. Well, 90% of his field goals made are threes. So he's a specialist, but he's working on being able to put the ball on the floor and do some other things. But right now, his calling card is dialing from long distance, and he's one of the best in the country at doing that. So Latimer on the Krauser miss with a rebound for Notre Dame. Tied at 24, approaching the six-minute mark. First half, Latimer trying to lean in and gets the two. The former University of Arizona Wildcat transferred here to Notre Dame, sat out last year. Latimer with his first points. He has another season of eligibility here at Notre Dame. Irish back in front. Trade leads again. Even though it's the start of spring break, schooled out here at Notre Dame. Raymond 
working on Quinn, takes it up the alley and can't hit. Here come the Irish. They've scored seven in a row. Falls again. Oh, my, is he hot. Well, that time he showed the defender the ball, sent the growth to the paratroopers club, and then had all the time he needed for that triple. 15 points for Colin Falls. Browser having trouble with the handle, and he's called for picking up the dribble. At the five minute mark, look at how sweet this stroke is. Falls for three. Make more of your money work for you. Consider a fund targeted to your retirement year. For more information and to open a no-fee Roth IRA, call 1-800-FIDELITY. Smart move. Chevy Suburban, the highest ranked full-size SUV in initial quality. Chevy Tahoe, the best-selling full-size SUV. Take it. You take it. And the powerful 275 horsepower Trailblazer. Boy. It's one tough family of SUVs. Chevy, an American revolution. Come on. You can do it. Just 30 seconds of Listerine. Think of all the germs you're killing. Listerine even kills the germs that can cause plaque and gingivitis. See? You can handle it. Germs can't. Listerine. Worth the time, every time. And now try new advanced Listerine. All the germ-killing power of Listerine, plus longer-lasting breath protection and tartar control for cleaner, brighter teeth. Try new advanced Listerine. All right, here's one. You're stranded on the island. Name three things that you want with you. A beautiful woman, an endless supply of Bud Light, and oh yeah, another beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> Not until he builds he the raft. He said he build the raft yesterday. No, he said that. I'm going to bring home some friends. Oh, God, oh, I got to work on my fantasies. Fresh, smooth, real Bud Light. Now, this is what I'm talking about. It's all here. And look at our game summary, Clark, as uh, the Irish now up by five. Yeah, you see the three-point shooting. That's a huge part of their arsenal. They average 10 three-point field goal makes per game in conference play. And Colin Falls has been all wet from outside. Splash, splash, splash. Yeah, he's Niagara Falls the way it's <laughs> been going in for him. Well, two minutes ago, Pittsburgh led by five, their biggest advantage in the game. And then Notre Dame quickly, a 10-point unanswered run. And they lead by five, sparked by the torrid shooting of Colin Falls, who has hit five out of six three-point attempts. And he's certainly, certainly making up for the ineffectiveness thus far of Chris Quinn, but I think the presence of Quinn on the floor, even though he's not 100%, gives Pittsburgh another perimeter guy to at least think about and have to defend. Chris Thomas being hawked by Krauser. Gets it inside to Francis. And this has been some, this has been something else that's really helped Notre Dame today, Dick. I mean, the three-point shooting will jump out at you. That allows you to build leads or come back from deficits quickly. But the intentionality of Notre Dame getting the ball inside has really paid dividends thus far in this half. Siobhan Trotten's first foul sends Francis to the line looking for his seventh point. Monday on CBS, the only way to get into Miami's hottest pool party is to crash it. Don't miss a new episode of Monday's most watched show, CSI Miami, Monday at 10, 9 Central here on CBS. Francis with one out of two, and the Irish enjoy their biggest lead, 30-24. Russell Carter makes his first appearance for the Irish, number 43, and Quinn gets a seat, hasn't scored in the game. He's the number two 
production man for the Irish behind uh, Chris Thomas. And he scored double digits in 15 consecutive day games coming into today's action. Aaron Gray, the big man in the post, and he loses it out of bounds. And he's going to head out of bounds as he'll take a seat after that turnover. Five turnovers for Pittsburgh, and back comes Chris Taft as the Irish enjoy this streak of 11 straight points. And that's with Thomas unable to hit a field goal. He has two free throws, and Quinn, second leading scorer for Notre Dame, without a point. And that again speaks to the fact that Notre Dame getting production from their guys inside. Well, he just feels it, and he's an extra tough when he moves right to left. Loves to take the one dribble left and then pop. 14 in a row for the Irish, and 18 of those points belong to Colin Falls. And a foul before the shot. Colin Falls, he's 6'5", he's averaging 12 points a game. Better shooting outside than inside the line. sale value than Ford or Dodge. That's why it's the right truck. The official truck of an American revolution. Apparently, somebody was up late last night. Make that somebody's. And that's okay. Because if you work hard, you play hard. Just don't look in the mirror. Unless you're using Nivea for Men Revitalizing Lotion Q10. Q10 restores your skin, leaving it healthy and fit. Well, that takes care of your face, but don't forget about your eyes. Reduce puffiness and lose the dark circles with new revitalizing eye cream Q10. Nivea for men. More evolved skin care. Give me the ball, Pops. Come get it. I think that's challenge. Are you serious? I won't even put my bag down. Oh, come on, man. Bro, let that man see you. I got nothing. We don't got nothing. Let's drive. Have a coat. No time out. Two seconds left, and he's got to put it up. More bars in more places. That's the goal of singulars all over network. The largest digital voice and data coverage in America, thanks to Singular and AT&T Wireless joining forces. The new Singular, raising the bar. Back at Notre Dame and fans, text play 26222 on your wireless phone and you'll get 20 questions, 20 chances to win a trip to the 2005 NCAA Men's Final Four in St. Louis and a shot at a million dollars. And a reminder coming up on Singular at the half, Greg Gumbel and Seth Davis have all the scores and highlights, the latest college basketball news in this final regular season weekend uh, of Saturday that's coming up on Singular at the half and uh, a whistle against Pittsburgh. And Jamie Dixon, their 39-year-old coach, uh, bemoans a sixth Panther turnover. Nine-point Irish lead, 14 unanswered points. Keep your eye on Falls as he tries to maneuver away from the ball. They got Krauser on him and unable to hit his Thomas. And Ramon on a 3-1 break. It's Krauser who scores. So that ends the 14 straight. Yeah, Chris Thomas made a gamble trying to come up with that loose ball. He would have been better served just to give up on the ball and back up to help out defensively. But when he gambled and missed, it was three on one and an easy hoop for the Panthers. Carter takes it inside and the charge will go against the young uh, Irish forward. 6'4", sophomore from Paulsboro, New Jersey. Well, he turns the cor corner nicely here, but Troutman doing a nice job just stepping in and giving up his body. 
Well, you'd like to see Carter have a nice little teardrop shot there right before he gets to the defender. Both teams with six fouls, so from now on they'll go to the line. 245 remaining in the half. That was an area where Pittsburgh really exerted their strength in the first meeting, outscoring Notre Dame 14 to 6 at the foul line. So far today, though, Notre Dame doing a good job getting it inside and getting to the line. Half misses at the other end, and Thomas Fowl will get one and one here for Notre Dame. Well, Colin Falls, if he was on the playground, they would say he is all wet. Splash. Push ahead, square up, ball fake. Splash. And he's made all of them like that. I don't I don't think he's hit much iron on those shots, Dick. It's been all splashes. He used to say snapping the twine. Yes. Number of ways to say that. Tickling <laughs> the twine, string music. The word today is all wet. When you knock them down cleanly like that, the way it kind of looks like a diver going into the pool. Chris Thomas, his four points have all come at the line. And the Irish back up by nine. So Notre Dame has played a number of close games. They've not often had a lead like this in Big East play. Krauser maneuvers for a three. So Krauser, five straight points for him and seven in the game. Well, he just finds a way to make a big shot when this team needs it. Francis has it batted away by Ramon, and the Panthers come up with it. Krauser leads a 3-1 break. And an easy two. Antonio Graves back in. He has two fouls, and Bray doesn't like what he sees as the Panthers run off seven unanswered. And the 149 mark. High endurance body wash. Get clean, feel clean, smell great. Hi. Uh, would you like to go to dinner tonight? High endurance body wash from Old Spice. Big East action. A reminder Tuesday on the new amazing race. Survivors, Sweethearts, Rob, and Amber are up to their old tricks. And a tough street challenge could give one team the boot. Don't miss the new amazing race Tuesday, 9, 8 Central here on CBS. A little mini amazing race of his own for Coach Jamie Dixon is Carl Krauser. Seven assists, seven points, and uh, he has sparked this run by the Panthers to pull back within four. Well, he's responsible for the whole seven-point run. A three, a two, and an assist. Thomas looking for his first field goal of the game. The senior. Well, he has it picked away by Graves. And here's Krauser. Who else? And a foul by Falls. Well, Carl Krauser doing everything. And that's what you love about this point guard. He just consistently makes plays that are going to help you win. He's doing a nice job defensively on Chris Thomas, not allowing him to get comfortable out there handling the ball. He was partly responsible for that turnover. He's been involved in every play as they've made this 7 0 run. At number 11, Isaiah Thomas, one of his favorites. If he wants to get Isaiah's autograph. Isaiah may want to get his autograph on something someday. <laughs> <laughs> Only a junior, a fourth year junior. But he plays with a moxie and a toughness that is contagious. And a passion, and he really is a New York City player. Physically tough, went to Notre Dame Academy. I mean, he's the kind of guy that you like to have on your side. You just know he's going to bring it, and he's going to find a way. He's versatile, he's tough-minded, and he loves to compete. Look at him defensively. I mean, he's held Thomas without a basket this first half. Francis wheels inside. Tap pulls down the rebound, and here come the Panthers. A chance with a three to tie. One minute to go on the half. Running the show. Well, this was a critical segment here for Notre Dame to have that nine point cushion, the crowd in it, and all of a sudden it's evaporated like snow on a sunny day. 
which we're enjoying in South Bend today. The pass inside, knocked away and batted forward by the Panthers, and Falls gets it for Notre Dame with 36 seconds left in the half. You know, Thomas wants to get the ball too here if uh, Callum Falls can find a chance to get open. Saving it as Troutman. Shot clock off here. 12 seconds to go. Krauser typically likes to shoot these himself. And the foul is called. 6.4 seconds. I think, Dick, they just called the possession. Look at Krauser. He's uh, ended. No foul called. Thought maybe with that uh, reaction that, hey, Battering me around a little bit. How about getting me to the line? <laughs> and the fans thought Krauser lost it himself and that the ball should belong to Notre Dame. Krauser for three. And Thomas, another rebound, Notre Dame, and can't get the shot off before the buzzer. And hits the front of the rim. Taft with 12, leading Pittsburgh. Ball with 18, the top Irish score. A three point halftime lead for Notre Dame. Let's go to Greg Gumbel in New York. Thanks, guys. Coming up on Singular at the Half, another school has played its way into the NCAA tournament. We'll have the scores and the highlights after this message and a word from your local station. CBS Sports presents Singular at the Half, sponsored by Singular, raising the bar. And welcome to our New York studios and Singular at the Half, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel. After 20 minutes of play in South Bend, the Irish leading Pittsburgh 35-32. I'm joined by Seth Davis of Sports Illustrated. As usual, the Irish are playing this game like it matters. Well, it does matter to them, Greg. If they win this game, they are in the NCAA tournament. They would get a first-round bye in the Big East tournament. I personally think Notre Dame is a much more dangerous team when they're getting production from their big guys. But when Colin Falls is raining threes like this, what are you going to do? Let him yeah. shoot. All right. Meanwhile, number 19, Alabama, is on the road against Mississippi State. Jamario Davidson with a block on Winsome Frazier. Here comes the tide. Ronald Steele feeds Ernest Shelton for the layup. And uh, Gary Irvin's had an up and down year for Mississippi State. Going to throw it ahead to Ontario Harper for the lay-in. That cut the Alabama lead to three. The last time these two teams played, Alabama only won by 49. I think Mississippi State wants revenge. They're trailing by four. They're 0 for 11 from three-point land. They're only four points down at halftime. Clemson against Georgia Tech in Atlanta. Clemson's Vernon Hamilton to Sherrod Ford on the outlet for the dunk. And a tie game early on. Tech's B.J. Elder drive. Dishes to Jeremy Smith for the dunk. This is a game Tech needs badly. A huge game. They need a huge game from B.J. Elder. It's going to take the pass from Bynum for the jam. However, Tech only, uh, excuse me, they're down by one point right now. If they lose this game, their hopes to get an at-large bid will take a serious step back. 15.55 to play in the second half. In Big East action in New York. Number 19, Villanova against St. John's. Villanova's Curtis Sumter. Nice steal. Nice dunk. Villanova up seven early on. St. John's Lamont Hamilton with a running layup here to pull the Red Storm to within four. But Villanova has a lot of weapons. And they're all perimeter weapons there, Greg. Uh, Mike Nardi is going to take the pass from Randy Foy. Uh, bury the three there. Villanova already a buy in the Big East tournament. I think they will be a trendy pick in the tournament. They have won six in a row. They lead it at halftime. Meanwhile, in the Big Ten, Purdue against the Wisconsin Badgers in Madison. Mike Wilkinson down low to Orlando Tucker for the bucket and the foul free throw. Badgers up five. Boy, they just rolled. And Clayton Hansen's going to find Mike Wilkinson. Uh, I think the best player in the Big Ten who doesn't play for Illinois. He buries the three. Another long day at the office for Gene Cady. Meanwhile, I think if Wisconsin gets to the Big Ten uh, tournament final, they could get a four seat. Just six points in 12 minutes for the Purdue Boilermakers so far. It's a 20 point lead for Wisconsin. Atlantic Sun Championship in Nashville. Gardner Webb guard Tim Jennings with an early three. His team up one over Central Florida. And then Gardner Webb signed. Simon Kahn watched a nice pass to Brian Bender for the layup. And for Central Florida, Justin Rose is going to hit the pull-up jumper. That put the Golden Knights up by two. These are the top two seeds in the Atlantic Sun Tournament. The winner goes on to play. At halftime, <laughs> the Golden Knights lead at 26-16. Missouri Valley quarterfinals in St. Louis. Southern Illinois, what a nice team. Jamal Tatum with a steal and the layup. Tell me if you spot a trend here. SIU's Darren Brooks with a steal and the layup. <laughs> 
That's the way it's been all season for Southern Illinois, Greg. Jamal Tatum here is going to knock down the three-pointer. I think Southern Illinois will get a bit to the tournament, regardless of what they do in their conference tournament, and I think they are a real threat to go to the Sweet 16, maybe beyond. Saluki's ended this game on a 15-3-1 run. They win at 64-49. We remind you, the NCAA Basketball Championship Selection Show comes your way a week from tomorrow night here on CBS. We'll have the exclusive live announcement of which 65 teams are in this season's NCAA tournament, as well as all the March Madness seedings and pairings. That Sunday evening, the 13th of March at 6 Eastern time. More scores and highlights coming up when Singular at the Half continues after this. Hey, Angie, you going to the post office? Hey, Ted, you going to the post office? Do I know you? Anyone go to the post office? Jeff. Ronnie. Connie. <laughs> Isn't anyone going to the post office? Hey, Chuck. Can't go to the post office? Go to USPS.com. From buying stamps to shipping packages, almost anything you do at the post office, you can do at USPS.com. It's how the U.S. Postal Service is working for you. Hey, Steve. Lunch? Where are we? We were a thousand miles away from home when a deer cut in front of us. A wolf. A deer. I'm Tony Villarreal, State Farm agent, and this is a true story. This was the first day of our vacation. When you're in the middle of nowhere, it's good to have someone to call. Tony took care of everything, just like we were his own customers. He even drove us 100 miles to rent a car. Any insurance company can promise you a good price, but nobody takes care of you like State Farm. We'd love to prove it to you. Call an agent today. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Click on Alamo.com now to enter the Alamo.com Family Vacation Sweepstakes. If you've wanted to take a Disney vacation, this is the perfect time during Disney's happiest celebration on Earth. Alamo is giving away 300 family vacations to Walt Disney World Resort or Disneyland Resort, including five days, four nights, round-trip airfare for four, hotel accommodations, park tickets, and rental car. Just visit Alamo.com for a chance to celebrate 50 years of magic at Disney Parks. Alamo.com, the official website of the American Vacation. What's on your mind? In your head. In your heart. What will you find? What will it mean? For tomorrow? For forever? What will you be? Who will you be? How you begin to know? The University of Pittsburgh. What if you could live like a champion and shape the world we live in? Paige, Doyle, Shields, and Mauer. These are our champions. This is Notre Dame. CBS Sports presents Singular at the Half, sponsored by Singular, raising the bar. Hi, right, once again, everyone. Welcome back to our New York studios in Singular at the Half. I'm Greg Gumbel alongside Seth Davis, who likes to say the games are kind of important this time of the year. Let's take out the uh, final scores so far in college basketball today. Louisville at DePaul. Sammy Mejia put back bucket to give the Blue Demons a two-point lead. Louisville's Taekwon Dean with a three to extend the Cardinals' lead to four. And here's a guy who's been red hot for Louisville as of late. Larry O'Bannon had 34 in the win over Charlotte. Buries the long three, puts the Cardinals up. They go on to win. DePaul is still in fourth place in Conference USA. A couple of nice wins. I think they're pretty safe, Greg, but they could use another win in the Conference USA tournament. To Louisville, sure. meanwhile, claims the Conference USA regular season title. West Virginia at Seton Hall on the move. The Hall, Jamar Nutter to John Allen takes it strong inside and the layup is good and then Patrick beeline with a long three for the Pirates and uh, Seton Hall's Kelly Whitney is going to dish it to Justin Sarasoli the freshman drains the three they go on to win this is a bad loss for West Virginia because Seton Hall is 155th in the RPI West Virginia needs to at least win one game in the Big East tournament to get an at-large bid Mountaineers have won four straight and six of seven they go down against the Hall today in the Atlantic 10 Xavier Diedrich Finn misses the lay-in will call
Caudle follows with the dunk. And Trent Meacham pulls up with a three to bring Dayton to within five. But the Musketeers had it all today. Yeah, it wasn't enough for Dayton today. Stanley Burrell is going to answer with a very long three-pointer. That puts the Musketeers up by eight. They go on to win by nine. I think the Atlantic 10 could eventually be a one-bid league. Xavier grabs a first-round bye for the Atlantic 10 tournament. Big South Championship game in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Winthrop's Torrell Martin, the three off the inbounds pass. And then Winthrop's Chris Gaynor finds Martin open for a three. And the Eagles were up 47-39. Rex and Kenley to Phillip Williams on the baseline for three. Winthrop, a winner. The Big South champs, they are in the NCAA tournament, the one they won the regular season by four games. They'll be a formidable opponent for a high seed. Winthrop in the tournament for the first time since 02. There is more college basketball ahead today here on CBS. Regional action featuring the two newest members of the 700-win coaching club, Jim Beheim, Syracuse Orangemen, take on Jim Calhoun's UConn Huskies, or the Connell test between rivals Washington and Stanford, the Huskies, after a share of the Pac-10 conference title. Time now to check in on another candidate for this year's Naismith Trophy presented by Singular Wireless. Who is it? Plays for the UConn Huskies, Greg. Josh Boone, the sophomore center last year, played behind Emeka Okafor, but he's been a real force inside this year. He leads the Big East in both rebounds and blocks, also first in the conference in field goal percentage. He has helped the Huskies lead the nation once again in blocks, a real force. Remember, you can still play Naismith Trophy trivia for a shot at a million. Text PLAY to 26222 on your wireless phone. You'll get 20 questions for 20 chances to win a trip to the 2005 NCAA Men's Final Four and a shot at a million. Singular at the half will continue right after this. Mr. Peanut firmly believes in symbolism. The top hat symbolizes fresh taste. The monocle symbolizes fresh taste. The cane symbolizes fresh taste. The gloves symbolize nothing. He just has a thing for gloves. But the shoes! The shoes symbolize fresh taste. Planters. Famously fresh taste. Six years. Three national championships. Five years. Five national championships. A legacy of excellence, established more than 25 years ago, has elevated the Big East Conference to the very pinnacle of college basketball. And the best is yet to come. Catch every game of the first three rounds in their entirety with Mega March Madness as DirecTV supplements CBS's coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship. That's VJ Singh. Yeah, he's practicing for the Greens on tour. They're pretty slick, you know. Woo! A tradition unlike any other. The Masters on CBS. Sensuous curves draw you in. It listens to your every word and allows you to let go. The 2005 Jaguar S-Type. Can you resist? College basketball coverage is sponsored by Fidelity Investments. Stop by your local Fidelity Investor Center today. The famously fresh taste of planters. And by Toyota. Choose any direction as long as it's moving forward.
100th season of basketball at Notre Dame. They celebrated at halftime and they're up by three against Pittsburgh as we move on to the second half. The Irish have played well here at home as most teams do. They're 13 and three on the year. Nivea's uh, first half stats. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the high points. Yeah, the high points obviously for Notre Dame making a three point shot. The fast break points. Also an issue you see Colin Falls making knocking down threes. And Pittsburgh did a nice job of capitalizing in the open court. And this is a bit misleading, but Pittsburgh again doing what they typically do on the strength of Chris Tab, able to dominate the scoring inside. And those three typically get about 40 points a game for the Irish, and it's all Colin Falls so far in the first half. Obviously, Chris Quinn's uh, ankle bothering him. No points scored for the number two uh, score for the Irish on the year. And there's uh, Troutman and Krauser. Troutman quiet after getting that early basket. And Krauser, you know, he's all over the court. You, know, you just cannot go uh, without noticing it, this junior guard, Krauser. The star of that first half, however, the shooting star, obviously, there he is, Colin Falls, six for seven outside the arc. He's only two away, makes from the Notre Dame record of eight three-pointers in a game. Well, he had seven in the win against Boston College. So I would expect Pittsburgh to pay a lot more attention to Colin Falls and make somebody else shoot it from the outside. Troutman takes it inside and will get one. Cornette with a foul. Jordan Cornette, his second. Siobhan Troutman just so strong. Look at him banging in the Cornette. Well, he could have possibly been called for a foul there, dislodging Cornette because he banged it pretty hard twice with the shoulder. Troutman will have a chance for a three-point play instead. Has his own style, gets down, does a little knee bend, and doesn't hit the three-point play, but tapped another rebound. He led the Panthers in the first half, and it's Graves for three, and Pittsburgh down by nine late in the first half, has moved in front by two early in the second. A second chance three off of a missed foul shot. You just can't afford that. That came uh, after making one free throw, so it was a four-point trip for Pittsburgh. Kicked it to Krauser, out of bounds to Notre Dame. Same teams that started the game for Notre Dame and Pittsburgh. Look at those lead changes, eight of them. Biggest lead, Notre Dame nine. Pittsburgh's biggest was five. Two falls was open, they didn't get him the ball. Krauser's done a nice job all game long defensively on Thomas, that time called for the foul. Quick hands, though. He thought he had the steal. His first foul. Both teams have been primarily man-to-man -man the whole game. And have done a pretty good job defensively. Thomas for three. Still cold, and Taft has another rebound. Inside and a foul as Krauser took it in deep. So Chris Taft not only leading the Pittsburgh team in scoring with 12, but now has seven rebounds. And Cornette picks up another foul, his second, Justin Cornette. Third foul now. And Pittsburgh leads by three. A reminder, tomorrow, actually Monday night on The Late Show, Billy Crystal joins Dave. And uh, he'll be in the audience as well with Know Your Current Events. That's Monday on The Late Show with David Letterman. Krauser off the mark on his second, has nine points in the game. Panthers by three. Does he tie it? Oh! Oh my, hits another one. Seven three-pointers now for Colin Falls, and it's tied at 38. Tap. Too strong off the board, but underneath it's Troutman to bat home his own missed foul. Seven for him.
Well, it's a nice combination that uh, Jamie Dixon has. They can run. These big guys are very fast, and yet when they get inside, they have enough muscle to be able to control the boards. Yeah, they can punish you inside, but you're right. You make a great point. Their ability to go from one end to the other is unique for the size of guys that they are. Quinn finally gets on the board his first points, and it comes on a tray. Notre Dame by one. Well, that three-point shot is such an advantage and a weapon. It can cover over weaknesses in other areas of your game. Lattimore had his uh, man tied up and forced the turnover as Taft stepped out of bounds. Let's take a look at Colin Falls being guarded by Mark McCarroll. McCarroll trying to get a piece of him, grab the jersey a couple of times, but a nice job of weaving in and out and using his teammates by Colin Falls to get just the daylight that he needed for that triple. He's got the quick trigger. He doesn't need much daylight, does he? No. Bigger man uh, graves on him now, and so from way outside for him, Francis tries the 12-footer. Notre Dame by one. Two and a half minutes into the second half, and Krauser trying to set up Taft. Stolen by Thomas, able to flip it back without uh, going out of bounds. That was a terrific defensive play by Chris Thomas to not give up and get back in the paint to help his teammates out. And Latimer picks up the charge. See, Thomas is at the three-point line. He knows Krauser's penetrating and looking to set up Taft, and he just kept heading towards the rim and got in between Taft and the ball. And there's Lattimore doing something that Troutman did to Cornette a few plays ago. That time it was called on the offensive player. Troutman had a three-point play opportunity when he did the dislodging. Lattimore's first foul. And the Irish go down. It's Thomas. Krauser inside. And against the big men, he scores. And Pittsburgh leads 42-41. Ten points for Carl Krauser. But if this game becomes a mucker and a grinder, you give the advantage to Pittsburgh in terms of just their physicality. But Notre Dame doing a pretty good job of trying to mix it up as well. Browser from behind picks up his second foul. This is the shot you develop on the playground when it's windy outside and the big guys are in there bumping and you figure out a way to kind of knuckleball it into how the you, hole. How do you know that? You never were little. <laughs> Falls. Does just that goes down on his backside after that three-point miss and you uh, get punished by Colin Falls even if he does miss that three-pointer because when you foul him and that's the 14th time this year he's been hit on a three-point attempt he's made 35 of 39 free throws so he's gonna get you one way or the other yeah he puts so much pressure on you especially when he has the kind of oh, oh. wow <laughs> well you, you can't make them all that's true because he's such a terrific three-point shooter and he's had a great first half, you really become more conscious of him behind that line. He ties it at 42. He's three deep, not three-dimensional, three deep from the three-point line. Unheralded defender does a good job there, really working on his ball handling. He's an early morning handle, which means there's not a lot of traffic out and he can <laughs> get around with the ball, but he's working on that part of his game. I think he's going to develop into a terrific offensive player all around right now. He's obviously an outstanding three-point shooter. And free throw shooter over 90% in Big East play. It's two out of three. There is hands Notre defensively. Dame back up by one. He's got good size. Yeah. He's 6'5 and a good reach. He showed it there. And moves his feet really well at the defensive end of the floor. Ramon in the game for Graves who picked up his third foul. Ten on the shot clock. Krauser with the ball. Gives it to Gray and he traveled. The big seven footer Aaron Gray, an extra step. Well, he caught it about two steps outside of his comfort zone and just didn't put it down before he went to the hoop. Falls moving left and he misses this one. But Lattimore gets the rebound and a second chance for the Irish. Haven't been too many of those for Notre Dame. Second chance opportunities. They need to cash in. Lattimore. Aggressive move. Trotman. The rebound for Pittsburgh. Quick advance by Krauser. Ramon into Gray and open is Troutman. 
He uses the backboard and basket as his friend scoops it underneath, and it's 44-43 Pittsburgh. Nine points for Troutman. Exchange of leads continues. Latimer, Mike Gray wants him to be more aggressive. Cornett, he misses the three, and Latimer gets another offensive rebound. Quinn, short. Cornett almost with a tip. Browser. Pittsburgh by three. Seven points for the freshman Ramon. At 13 in the win against Notre Dame at Pittsburgh off the bench. Having another productive day off the bench for Pittsburgh today. And a foul on Ramon. We've got a timeout at Notre Dame. Is this Parents Against Kids? <laughs> parents, are you tired of your kids going over your family's wireless minutes? Yeah. And kids, tired of them hassling you just for talking? Yeah. Well, good news. Sprint got rid of ugly overages. Protect your family from ugly overages. Now, 100 extra minutes only cost $5. Other plans charge at least $35. And unlimited Sprint PCS to PCS calling is included. Now you can save your money for the cleaners. Thank you. Sprint PCS. Now that's better. Dixon! Check. Check. Hornish. Check. Check. Casper Nevis. Opa! Check what's here, Keith. It's just a prototype. They'll get the kinks up. Less time dressing means more time racing. If there's a way to make our drivers faster, we'll find it. Toyota, moving forward. Now, watch that, watch that, watch that. Come get it. I think that's challenge. Are you serious? I want to put my bag down. Oh, come on, man. Don't let that man see you. I got nothing. You don't got nothing. Your mouth looks dry. Have a coat. You know what that is? That's the rule time, CBS is the first to know. Is your team in and where will they go? It's all on the NCAA Basketball Championship Selection Show next Sunday on CBS. Enjoy the countdown to Selection Sunday with CBS Sports and Coca-Cola. Well, a look at the teams on the stoop. From my perspective, all have some compelling reasons to be in, but they also still have plenty of work to do when you analyze. Not plenty, but they still have some work to do in terms of, I think, fortifying their cases before the selection committee. We see Stanford on the bottom of that list and they'll be seen by many of you fans in the second game of our doubleheader today as uh, they play the Washington Huskies who most certainly are in the tournament one of the top teams in the nation without question they're undersized but they play much bigger than they are and they're exciting to watch and they're one of the more entertaining teams you'll see in all of college basketball. The Irish with the ball trailing Pittsburgh by three. Francis has it rejected by Taft. And Chris Taft over 100 blocks in his first two years at Pittsburgh. Well, a good job here by Troutman to make Francis go to a second move and then allow Taft the time he needed to home in on that shot attempt and send it out of bounds. He's freshman of the year last year, Taft. And a push against the Panthers. Well, that's a good job by Colin Falls, feeling that he was being crowded by the defender, able to draw that foul on Mark McCarroll, his second. And fifth team foul on Pittsburgh. Notre Dame charged with three. And Chris Thomas, third leading scorer in Notre Dame history, without a field goal in this game. Well, that could change in a hurry. He's the kind of guy that can be quiet, 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 and then make big shots. Francis had the walk. He did no basket. Made his one step move inside going to his left. Then he tried to spin back going the other way. And uh, 
I mean, you're, not, you're not allowed to change your pivot foot in midstream. <laughs> and that's what he tried to do. The feed inside and the easy two for Taft set up by Grouser. And the Panthers equal their biggest lead of the game. Clears again. He works on a double double. And then he turns it over. Thomas, does he take advantage? No. And down they go again underneath. Out of bounds to Pittsburgh. Dick, you and I talked about the emotion of senior day and how sometimes it can drain you just enough to throw you off just a fraction from your normal level of intensity and emotional fuel tank. And I think you're seeing a little bit of that. You so want to play well on your last home game, in your last home game, and sometimes the emotion just takes it out of you. Troutman to tap. And it's going to be a foul against Notre Dame. The Irish fans wanted the hill ball. Omari Israel with the foul is first. Mike Gray wondering if his player Israel got a hand in there cleanly. The call's been made. And this kind of pace and the size and strength up front of Pittsburgh. Thursday on Survivor, what's aboard a boat is about to change everyone's life on the island. And one tribe's struggle to stay alive comes down to a no holds barred fight to the finish. Don't miss a new Survivor Thursday, 8, 7 Central on CBS. Nine forty-three. the Panthers. The Irish have missed nine consecutive shots. Boy, they have been a hot and cold team today. Well, that can happen when you shoot the three, although I think they've gotten some good looks inside that they just haven't converted on. Look at the switching off of the Panther defense. They're really all over Thomas. Omar Israel, Omar Israel has it go off his knee. Is it defended well by Mark McCarroll? Not only does Pittsburgh do a nice job of moving their feet, but they also bump you a little bit and take you off your stride. And Mike Gray says, I need a timeout. Dick Effort with Clark Kellogg. A reminder to stay tuned. Second half of our doubleheader, Big East action, or out in the Pac-10, Washington at Stanford and Syracuse at Connecticut. Isn't that incredible? In the same week, yeah. Jim Beheim and Jim Calhoun win their 700th game. Both the national championships in the last couple of years. And both Hall of Fame caliber coaches. They've done it extremely well for a long time. They haven't they? Alley. Pittsburgh Panthers with a 7-0 run as the Irish have gone cold, missing their last nine shots without a point. Notre Dame in the last four minutes plus. Pittsburgh enjoying its biggest lead, six. Notre Dame extending its defense. Now it's out to Troutman. McCarroll inside to Taft. A jumping jack. 51 43. Eight point lead. Well, Pittsburgh get out, excuse me, Dick. Pittsburgh get outscored Notre Dame 18 to 8 in the paint in the first half. It is now 30 to 8 points in the paint in favor of Pittsburgh. And falls going cold, and that really hurts the Irish. And there he is again inside. Chris Taft having his own way. 19 points to lead the Panthers. And it's a 10 point edge for the visitors from Pittsburgh. And Mike Gray says we got to find something to stop this run. 11 straight by Pittsburgh. I guess I could have spent a lot more money on something like a BMW Z4. But then I'd be stuck with a slower car. That's why I bought a Saturn. The 0 to 60 in 6.2 seconds supercharged Saturn Ion Redline. Now get a 2005 Saturn Ion Redline with 0% APR financing for five years. See your retailer for details. The lead is 10, and it's because of the Panthers' ability to score in the paint. Pittsburgh.
Pittsburgh PIPs, points in the paint. Krauser, Troutman, Tab. They're dominating that action around the basket. And when you get in close, those percentages do increase, and <laughs> Pittsburgh has made eight in a row, while the Irish have missed nine in a row. Somehow Notre Dame has to find a good shot that they convert. They've got some good looks, Dick. They've just not made them. Five-minute drought for the Irish. Lattimore. And somebody in there with a leg to bump him off stride. And with it a timeout. 11.38 remaining in this second half. The Panthers enjoy a 10-point lead. I can't believe Kyle turned on his tickets. I know, right? Let's hit him up. <laughs> hey, that's your apartment. That's your Bud Light. That's your girlfriend. Fresh, smooth, real. It's all here. Sharon? <laughs> yeah, she's sharing all right. Look at this place. What do these guys have that we don't have? Well, they do have the rotary-powered Mazda RX-8, the Tribute, Mazda 3, 2005 Automobile Magazine All-Star, and the thing no one else has. Zoom, zoom. OK, we no. got it. It's the Mazda's on the move sales event. For a limited time, lease the Mazda 3i four-door for just $179 a month for 36 months with $19.99 to at least signing. Call you back. Hurry, offers end March 31st. If you put your effort and concentration into playing to your potential, to be the best that you can be, I don't care what the scoreboard says, at the end of the game, in my book, we're going to be winners. I'd like to be a broadcast journalist as I was in the military. I can edit audio and video. Give me a day, a day on in your station or on your set. Put me to any task, and I guarantee that I will do it the best that anybody can. Look for me on Monster. CBS Monday, only way to get into Miami's hottest pool party is to crash it. And there was a flash. You mean explosion? No. Everything went green. And one CSI's past... Walk away, John. ...will reappear. I don't want it to be over. And you better remember what I do for a living. A new CSI Miami, Monday. Bridge is sponsored by Monster. Is today the day you get the big payoff? Monster, today's the day. Cooper Tires, confidence, performance, mileage. Cooper Tires, don't give up a thing. And by Mazda, always the soul of a sports car. Well, no love you fans out there are marking off the calendar. Only eight days till Selection Sunday. Yeah, I can't wait to see how it unfolds. Some teams to keep an eye on as I... Looked across the landscape of college hoops to this point. LSU has a couple of interior guys. Davis and Bass. Charlotte, an excellent three-point shooting player in Clavitz. Oklahoma's been terrific defensively. They yeah, try to get it inside Notre Dame, but Pittsburgh too tough. 16 to 0 points in the paint for the Panthers here in the second half. Thomas trying to save Bass and right the Troutman. Blocked by Cornette. And then an easy two from McCarroll. That's 18 to zero points in the paint. Second half, all to Pittsburgh. They have built up a 12-point lead on a 13-point run, and finally it's Lattimore with the basket. But with the ability to shoot the three-point shot, Pittsburgh has to continue to be wary of Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish can erase a. 10-point lead in a hurry if they get a good look at the three-point shot on consecutive possessions. Good defense on Troutman. This does get it to Krauser. So far, the difference has been the way Pittsburgh has been able to dominate inside. Krauser with the big men. Gets it out to Troutman. Four on the shot clock. Taft having a field day. And with the left hand, he scores. Plus one. Chris Taft working on maybe his career high game but when he comes like this dick focused aggressive under control he is hard to deal with he's been a little inconsistent as is the case with many second year players in college but the big fella is bringing the full package today 
22 points for him, three under his career high. Meanwhile, Jordan Cornette, four fouls on the big man for Notre Dame. They so he is had, out. They've not had any answer for Chris Taft. Look at those numbers. No, 22 Corn and 8. Corn sorry, Cornette does stay in the game playing with four. Ooh, Francis, a good catch. And Ramon with a push. Well, it's been Chris Taft all day, all the time inside. Nice feed there, good post up, and a good, good up and under move that time. So he's shown you a little bit of everything this afternoon in the paint. Raised in the Coney Island section of Brooklyn, favorite player Kevin Garnett went to the same high school as Chris Mullen. Number five, Omari Israel, back in. The Omari Irish. Israel in for Quinn. Mike Gray might start substituting depending on what end of the floor he's on. They put a little full court pressure. Troutman helping out. And they get a timeout, or is it 10 seconds? Timeout call by Jamie Dixon. He saw that the Panthers were about to lose the ball on the 10 second count. There's a place for us somewhere a place for us peace and quiet and all for those in the academic medical and cultural fields whose work serves the greater okay. good we serve you TIAA CREF financial services for the greater good Pittsburgh leads by 11. A reminder, don't miss a minute of March Madness. Access live video to all games outside your viewing area, plus live tournament press conferences, highlights, and more. Sign up now. NCAA March Madness on demand only at NCAAsports.com or CSTV.com. Browser with the ball, 11 points and 11 assists for this brilliant junior for Pittsburgh. And here's the freshman, Ramon. Gray back into the game. Some fans wanted to walk. Gray inside the trout, and he misses the layup. Israel clears for Notre Dame. Desperate now for a bucket. Nine and a half minutes left. Thomas inside to Francis to score. Plus one. This could be a significant turnaround. Troutman misses a point blank layup at the other end, and then France is able to get it inside from Thomas, and we'll have a chance for a three point play. Boy, Troutman rolled. He flew by Francis. I didn't see a lot of contact there, but I'm sure the Fighting Irish won't argue. Whistled for his third foul, Troutman. Francis completes the three point play, and it's back to 58 50 Pittsburgh. I like this move by Mike Bray trying to apply some pressure. He doesn't have a very deep team, so he doesn't use it much, but he's trying to change the tempo and pace and rhythm of the game by applying some full court pressure here. Troutman misses a short jumper. He's the leading field goal percentage shooter in Pittsburgh history. Thomas again is short, and Francis clears. Thomas again short. And Francis cleans it up, so five straight points. For Terrence Francis and the Irish climb back to within six. That gets the crowd in it. Just under nine to go. Well, Chris Thomas matched up with Chevy Troutman inside after a switch. This could be dangerous even if he doesn't catch it. He's matched up on the board with a much smaller defender. Browser on a bigger defender, and he's blocked by Cornett. Picked off by Falls. Thomas. Francis has it slapped away by Troutman, and here comes Graves. Good defense by Israel. Took the path away from the dribbler, and then the block. 
Thomas with the ball. 0 for 9. One of his worst ever shooting performances. Falls looking for 3 as well off the mark. And made him adjust with the defense. The long pass and it's too long. And out of bounds off the hands of Chris Taft. Look at this place. What do these guys have that we don't have? Well, they do have the rotary-powered Mazda RX-8, the Tribute, Mazda 3, 2005 Automobile Magazine All-Star, and the thing no one else has. Zoom, zoom. Okay, we got it. It's the Mazda's on the move sales event. For a limited time, lease the Mazda 3i four-door for just $179 a month for 36 months with $19.99 to at lease signing. Call you back. Hurry, offers end March 31st. Hey, aren't you guys tired of getting punished by your teachers for talking too much in class? Yeah. Yeah. Tired of getting punished by your parents for talking too much on your wireless phone? Yeah. Well, now your parents can relax, because only Sprint got rid of ugly overages. Check it out. Protect your family from ugly overages. Now, 100 extra minutes only cost $5. Other plans charge at least 35 And unlimited Sprint PCS to PCS calling is included. Your parents can save money, so you don't have to wear your big brother's pants. <laughs> Sprint PCS. Now that's better. Excuse me, you're still with your old brokerage firm? I know, I know, but I like being able to talk to somebody when I have a question. Look, I don't want to be out there in cyberspace all by myself. We moved our money to a TD Waterhouse online account. Their people really make us feel connected. TD Waterhouse has investment consultants you can talk to when you have a question, so you're not out there all on your own. You can do this. Switch to TD Waterhouse, the alternative to higher-priced brokers like Merrill Lynch and Smith Barney. Sophomores leading the way. Taft three from his career high, and Falls has equaled his best ever effort at Notre Dame. Well, both of those guys have had terrific offensive games here today. Taft has been dominant inside, and Falls had a terrific first half, but Pittsburgh has paid a little more attention to him in the second half. Notre Dame has scratched and clawed itself back into this game after being down by 13 not too long ago. Seven point run currently for the Irish to pull within six, and they have the ball. By the way, Jordan Cornett, that last block gave him 200 in his career to tie LaFonso Ellis all time Notre Dame. Boy, Thomas knocked off balance as Browser showing his tough defense. And yeah, he's been terrific defensively all day, in addition to the double double that he's posted already. Francis got away with a hop, and there's the follow by Cornett. Nine in a row now for Notre Dame. Each team has had some big runs. And this time it's Notre Dame pulling within four. Plenty of time, seven minutes plus. Here's Taft with a slam, and he's got 24. Beautifully set up by Graves. That was a terrific job by Pittsburgh with outstanding patience, then the penetration and find by Graves. Thomas yet without a field goal, and that one won't count. Foul before the shot. Boy, 0 for 8 between their two top scorers here in this second half between Thomas and Falls. And yet they're still within six. It's only a couple of possession game. And Notre Dame has impressed me with their ability to come in and cut this lead by going inside. Thomas's only points at the line. That's his fifth. Pittsburgh's lead at five and now at four. 
Back comes Omari Israel in for Quinn. And Quinn, no question, that ankle injury has bothered his performance. No points for a man that's been averaging 13 and a half a game. And you love the fact that he tried to give it a go and was ineffective offensively. But again, his presence on the floor gave Pittsburgh somebody else to at least think about a little bit. Thomas Hawking Graves, and Graves takes it up the lane and scores easily. Using that left hand shooting with a body. Eyes on Antonio Graves. He plays bigger than 6-3. Falls for three. And his cold streak continues after being red hot the first half. Will Thomas score a field goal? Still without one. 0 for 10 for Chris Thomas. This is Troutman working on Cornette. capable of doing just that again he doesn't go over people he goes through you and that was one that appeared as though it could have been a no call I mean both guys were bumping and thumping in there but for Notre Dame they get uh, Jordan Cornette fouled out and he scored four points in the process and equaled the all time Notre Dame uh, high in blocks in a career with 200. He'll be replaced by Dennis Lattimore. That's it. <laughs> it's so tough to call. The, oh, yeah. You know, you get some officials want to have the quick whistle, some uh, let the guys play, and then there's a little hiccup here and there where you wonder, well, that isn't the way it's been uh, called most of the game. And then you get in the tournament, and you don't know how the game's going to be called. I mean, a, a Big East team might get a quick whistle of finesse group of referees. Yep. That's part of it. That's part of the landscape you have to navigate. Troutman completes a three point play and Pittsburgh back up by nine. Points in the paint. Pittsburgh 44 to 14. You see falls after that six for seven shooting outside the arc in the first half. But understandably has cooled down but uh, too much so one for five. For Notre Dame. Francis inside the score. Francis, Francis has had a good game. 14 for him. Well, in trying to cut that double digit deficit, Notre Dame has relied on the guys inside. If they could get the three point shot to start falling again, they could maybe get completely all the way back. Troutman. As you said, with that long reach and that big body of his at 670, plays so huge, able to go not necessarily always over you, but through you. Yeah, exactly. And when he feels you, once he finds you and feels you, he'll finish you. And that's what he's been doing there's inside. The, and there's the block by Trotman, playing it at both ends and able to bat it off the Notre Dame leg out of bounds to Pittsburgh. Tomorrow on CBS, 12 years after a teenager's mysterious death, crime scene drawings reveal a shocking secret. Don't miss a new episode of Cold Case tomorrow, 8, 7 Central on CBS. Cold case here in the second half has been by the outside shooters for Notre Dame. The long throw for Troutman, and he was held by Francis. That would have been interference if they've been playing on that 100 yard field. Boy, you've got to see the ball, though. I mean, Francis was in position to come up with the steal. That ball was well underthrown, but he was face guarding Troutman. Well, that was an opportunity to come up with a turnover, and instead, Troutman will go to the foul line. One and one for the senior from Williamsport, Pennsylvania, home of Little League World Series. He was Pennsylvania's Mr. Basketball at Williamsport Area High School. And uh, he completes uh, the most successful senior class ever at Pittsburgh. Boy, that's uh, led by Troutman. McCarroll. Lattimore rebounds. Actually, if they hold on and win here, it would establish a new record of wins for a senior class. They're tied at 107. Thomas finally, with 5.03 left in the game, has his first field goal as Notre Dame cuts into the Pittsburgh lane, but it's the Panthers by seven. 
For some, recovery is a long road. For men, they reach for Revitalizing Lotion Q10 because Q10 replenishes skin to feel healthy, firm, and fit, especially when you don't. Nivea for men, more evolved skin care. Introducing the first stop smoking gum that actually tastes like gum. New Nicorette Fresh Mint. It's coated and it's softer with a totally fresh new taste, which means you might actually use it, which means this time it could help you quit. New Nicorette Fresh Mint. Clark is an old college professor. If those are the marks my student turns in, I say you pass. You're in the tournament. <laughs> and well said. You take a look. The one that jumps out at me, five and two against those in the RPI top 50. Some significant wins. They have lost twice to West Virginia, an excellent three-point shooting team, and the Bucknell loss at home stands out. But this is a tournament team and a very capable one, especially with the strength they have up front and the leadership and production they get from that point guard, Carl Krauser. Looking for their 20th win of the season, an incidental collision there as uh, Thomas was running, or was Falls that ran into a man. Browser, and there's Taft to clean it up. Chris Taft now for Pittsburgh with 26 points, his career high. They just can't stop the sophomore. Well, that time penetration collapsed the defense, and Taft was free to get to that offensive glass. Francis camping in the lane, and he's rejected by Taft. What a game for the sophomore. Rebounding, blocking shots, scoring, and now the foul against Notre Dame. Second on Colin Falls. You take a look at the 6'10 sophomore from Brooklyn. The unanimous freshman All-America last year and the Big East Rookie of the Year. Led the team in rebounds last year with seven and a half, and that's about his average this year. But his uh, Scoring average up to 13. He's doubled that today. 26 points and nine rebounds for Chris Taft. As Antonio Graves toes the strike, looking for his eighth point. Well, you take a look at the threesome for Pittsburgh. Chris Taft, a career high, and he has been dominant at both ends. Troutman has come alive here in the second half, and Carl Krauser. Well, I'll tell you what, you think about all the outstanding point guards in college basketball, Jared Jack, Raymond Felton, Chris Paul, D. Brown, Darren Williams. Krauser, he's there. I'll tell you me. what, he's right in that group, and what he brings night in and night out. Chris Thomas continues to come up empty from three-point range. And now times are a bit desperate for Notre Dame as we approach the four minute mark and Pittsburgh well in control 11 point lead and only chew up some clock on this possession. Graves then takes it inside with the left hand and Antonio Graves quiet in the first half as a benefactor here in the second 11 points in the game for Graves. Ramon on falls. Rare trip to the iron and the block by Taft. That's his third. Falls gets it back and is fouled by Ramon. Gray trying to come up with a formula. Hit up by 13. Two point one seconds left. Yeah. He throws it down the lane now. He grabs it just on. Fakes left. Shots up. Relive your glory days in the Allstate Alumni 3 on 3 Classic. Sign up at Allstate3on3.com. That's Allstate3on3.com. We need a car. AutoTrader.com lets you compare 2.1 million new, used, and certified pre-owned cars to find the one you want. Oh, now we gotta sell our car. I need a car. AutoTrader.com. Your car is waiting.
want another championship so bad, it hurts. But I worked through it with the icy hot sleeve. Joint hugging pain medicine that starts icy to dull the pain, then gets hot to relax it away. Get the icy hot sleeve. Hard work and pain relief. Dixon! Check. Check. Hornish! Check. Check. Casper Nevis! It's just a prototype. They'll get the kinks up. Less time dressing means more time racing. If there's a way to make our drivers faster, we'll find it. Toyota, moving forward. We're back with a CBS Sportsline stat of the game. And look at that points in the paint, 50 to 16. Pittsburgh in the second half, 32 to 8 to the Panthers. You get complete game stats at CBSSportsline.com. Well, it's been a long day for the Fighting Irish after a terrific start from Collin Falls and a nine-point lead that they held on to going into halftime. It was a three-point game at the half in favor of Notre Dame, but since then, it's been all Pittsburgh dominating the action inside. Here's Collin Falls at the line. He's seven for 12 on his three-point attempts, six of the goals in the first half. The rest of the Irish from outside the line, one for 13. Well, when your best shooter can't hit a three, and that's Chris Thomas, your best scorer, then it's going to be tough to win. Falls now with his career high as a sophomore. Now looks for his 25th point. Well, but this Pittsburgh team really impresses you with the depth that Jamie Dixon has at his disposal and the tough at his disposal and the toughness. They just grind you down. Troutman can't hit. Francis rebounds. Notre Dame will hurry it down. Three and a half to go. Thomas forced a shot, but drew the foul. Pittsburgh doing it in the paint. Chris Tab. Unstoppable. All of these buckets in the second half. And then Chris Thomas unable to find the mark. Colin Falls, who had a terrific first half from behind the arc. Much colder here in the second half. And that's why Pittsburgh has pretty much controlled things from about the halfway point of this second half to now. Clark, that last foul was on Siobhan Troutman, his fourth, as Thomas with that free throw is in double figures with 10, eight for eight from the line. Still only a three possession game and Notre Dame is a team that's capable from the three point line although one of their best three point shooters Chris Quinn ineffective due to the ankle injury and he's on the bench right now. He now is to get some defensive stops. Haven't been able to do that so far in the second half. And when you're pressuring defensively you're subject to commit fouls but you're also spreading out your defense which allows for penetrating lanes and offensive rebounding lanes. Israel his second foul that stops the clock with 302 to go and Notre Dame uh, nine team fouls is one and one for Troutman after this both teams will shoot the double bonus Pittsburgh's already committed its 10th foul. Troutman with a career field goal percentage of 63.6. That's one of the all time great percentages and will by far break the uh, Pittsburgh all time mark. And he now has 15 points. Well, just look at the shoulders on him. And you talked about the wingspan. I mean, and he looks to get into people. And again, once he feels you, he gets you on his hips and he's able to keep that ball away from you score or draw fouls or on occasion both 16 points today that's one over his season average long bomb by falls and they need that three let's see if it awakens some notre dame three-point echoes If I wear black, even a little dandruff shows. And my old dandruff shampoo just wasn't doing enough. So I switched. Sell some blue moisturizing shampoo. Doctor recommended for flakes and itch. With aloe and moisturizers for healthier hair and scalp. Never wear black without the blue. Sell some blue.
Cooper Tire is proud to be a part of college basketball and the official tire of these six conferences. Cooper Tires, don't give up a thing. Should be fun Monday on CBS. We're going to find out what all the viewers uh, thought about the fourth all-time favorite episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. Then why would two brothers pretend to be a couple? Lucy Lawless guest stars on a new Two and a Half Men. Monday, beginning at 9, 8 Central on CBS. Well, Callen falls with that last three-pointer has equaled the all-time Notre Dame mark from long range. Keith Friel in 98 and Matt Curl in 2003 also made eight three-point shots. And the quick foul against Carter. Now let's take a look at the Big East tournament and uh, if Pittsburgh wins. They get the uh, bye and then would meet Villanova. How about Jay Wright's Villanova team? I hit, there's somebody so I'd get some coach of the year. Oh, without question. He's done a fabulous job, and his team has fought through some injury problems early on. They're a terrific three-point shooting team. Do a nice job dribble-driving, folks. Notre Dame, in the meantime, is staring at a lost opportunity if they can't find a way to get back. A lost opportunity regarding another significant win against a very good opponent being put on their resume before selection Sunday should they lose Notre Dame would be 17 and 10 they would have to play a first round game in the Big East tournament against Rutgers a team they beat earlier this week here at Notre Dame and I think that leaves the question out there as to has Notre Dame done enough when compared to other teams in a similar situation I think a win here today would have solidified it in terms of their at large possibilities but right now I think, I think there's still some questions. Thomas gets the shooters roll. Eight point lead Pittsburgh two and a half minutes to go. Graves. Krauser. <laughs> Hanging and scoring let the defense fly by. Pittsburgh maintaining that 10 point edge 13 points 11 assists for Carl Krauser. Falls gets his own rebound. Carter inside. Russell Carter has his first points. 79 71 Pittsburgh. Ramon, the freshman, doing a good job. He's taking care of the ball. Browser, he knows the situation now. The clock is the enemy of the Irish. Yeah, you mentioned Ramon, and he affords Carl Krauser an opportunity to get a little breather from ball handling responsibilities when he's out there. Because he is a guy who can not only shoot the ball, but he's also a pretty good ball handler. Yeah, he'll take Krauser's spot next year, won't he? Yep. Or no, Krauser's back. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be back, and here's uh, Siobhan Troutman. He's never gone away. Well, it seems like Krauser has been here for a long time as well. <laughs> but Graves doing a nice job after Notre Dame tries to double up on the screen roll. The rotation is laid, and Troutman just so strong. I mean, guys are bumping him and sometimes grabbing him, and he still finds a way to get that ball up on the rim. He's mastered the ability to shoot it well under control while almost going back to the floor. This is the free throw, but has 20 points in the game. Ten-point deficit staring at Notre Dame. Carter, long range, not there. Israel, a good offensive rebound, and puts it back in. Israel now with four. Almost knocked away by Israel. Notre Dame has just been unable to come up with key stops when they've needed them. And Troutman with the easy two as Pittsburgh works it underneath. Pittsburgh answering every basket by Notre Dame. Still up by 10, less than a minute to go. Francis, they don't want to foul. Francis scores. 5.6 seconds left. And Thomas had to grab at Krauser to stop the clock. Today's Chevrolet players of the game, Chris Taft with a career-high 26, and Colin Falls with 28, his best ever at Notre Dame. In recognition of their determination and outstanding play, Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. Chevy, an American revolution.
game two you'll see either Syracuse Connecticut two of the top Big East powers or the Huskies of Washington against the Cardinal of Stanford. And don't forget more action again tomorrow here on CBS. Browser it's one out of two 14 in the game for him. They deny Thomas even in the final seconds. So it's into Francis. Dance and shoot. And Israel does. Francis tips. And Troutman, he's a man on the boards. And the clock. Shot clock is off. Browser had to run through Troutman. And finally the foul by Israel. So Jamie Dixon's uh, stars today, at least in the point scored column. Chris Taft, the sophomore with 26, and senior Siobhan Frodman with 22. Colin Falls 28 for Notre Dame. Frodman has gotten 19 of those 22, Dick, here in the second half. Browser misses that. Now the, uh, number 55, the Achilles for Notre Dame today. The fact that Thomas never could find the three-point shot. And Quinn with a bad ankle had only one successful three-pointer himself. Yep. This will be the 108th win for Pittsburgh, most ever by a senior class. And for Thomas, uh, hand as he goes off in his final home game here for the Irish. 100th season for Notre Dame basketball and Thomas one of the all time greats. They'll salute the 25 players of the century of big affair tonight here on the campus and it won't be a happy night for that young guy. He just uh, had one of his uh, less productive games. Well, here's a senior Craig Basel. They want him to shoot in for the final seconds. Carter inside the score. That's a little frosting, and that's all for Notre Dame. 85-77. And Graves, uh, well, they said shoot it. No, he said I'll let the clock run out, and that'll do it. Big win, the 20th of the season for Jamie Dixon, for Clark Kellogg, Dick Henberg. So long from South Bend. The final again, Pittsburgh 85, Notre Dame 77. Stay tuned for game two of our doubleheader. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports. What?